The angels have a very clear message for you this month, and it's this. Do not hold the vibration of fear. Hold the vibration of love. Do not hold the vibration of hate. Hold the vibration of peace. I wanted to let you know that we'll be praying more together here on this podcast. In my lifetime, I've witnessed personally miracles that occur when people come together and use their free will to pray. The angels say it shifts energy, creates an opening for healing, and brings positive change. Please join me at the end of today's episode and every episode this month to pray for and envision peace on earth. We'll also be praying together over on my Instagram page if you want to join us at Angel Podcast. Now here's today's episode. Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome back to the Angels and Awakening podcast. I'm your host, Julie Jancis, and today we are here with Lana. She is um, somebody who wrote in who has amazing angel stories to share with us today. We're excited to have her on. I wanted to share with you before we get started that we need more angel stories. So we have all of them, I believe, recorded or scheduled who um, that have kind of that have come in so far and we need more. So if you would like to be on the show, I promise I'm not scary. I promise that this is easy and fun um, and uh, we would love to have you on. So please email those to my email address, juliejancis at gmail.com and you can find that in the show notes below. Lana, welcome to the show. Hi, thanks, I'm excited. Yay. Um, so I'm going to have you take it away and share your story. Yes, absolutely. So my um, main story starts maybe three or four years ago. Um, I was driving to get my boys from school and I was in a yucky spot, just a lot of anxiety, depression, whatnot. Um, and I did a little out loud prayer in my car. I just said, hey, God, can you just kind of give me a hug right now? I'm in a yucky spot. and Maybe 30 seconds later, there's a huge billboard by the school and it was a dating service, but it, the message was for me and it just said, trust us. And I was like, oh, that's weird. Like they really spoke to me. So then I pulled into the school parking lot and I don't believe in coincidence and coincidences anymore. I ran into my one friend that is always saying, yeah, God told me this. God told me that. And I said, hey, you always say that. And oh, I don't get how they talk to you. Nobody talks to me. Like, what do I need to do? Because I'm not getting what the messages you are, except for the trust us. And then she's like, well, don't test God or the angels, but, you know, kind of do say, hey, our human brains are so dense. Like, I need to see this to know that it's you. So I went home. And now that I've been researching angels, white feathers are a sign. <clears throat> I didn't know it at the time. But I was like, OK, I want to see a white feather in the most random spot. So, like, there's no geese around or something. Um, so I was like, when I see a white feather, I know that the angels are with me and I know God's like, Hey, I love you, which I know he does anyway. But, um, and then to preface this story, like two weeks before I said my prayer, we got a boxer puppy. So they're destructive, whatever. But, um, so I said my prayer and like three weeks later, I remember we were sleeping in our room and we have this down comforter on our bed and Wally, the boxer decided overnight to, rip into the down comforter. So I have a box fan on one side and a ceiling fan going. So there's like a lot of wind movement, but we went up and there are thousands of white feathers just circling around the room. And I just remember going, oh, that's it. Like that's, that's <laughs> angels. But then in my head, I'm like, yay, something good's going to happen. We're going to get a new house. I'm going to get a new job. And at the time I had two boys that were like 11 and nine. And to go even back further in the store, I've always wanted a third baby, but my husband's like, we have two perfect boys. It's not going to work. Like, just let's let it go. And I did. I just let it go. Zero thoughts of another baby, except for sometimes at the dinner table, I'm like, oh, there's an empty seat. I wish somebody would fill it. But I let that thought go. But anyway, the white feathers, I was technically pregnant at the time. So now wow. we have 
So that was the hole in my heart that finally got filled. So to this day, I bet I see white feathers, like in the middle of winter, we live in Nebraska. I'll see them everywhere. So I don't know, always with us. So that's my little story, but it's fun because I've told that to everybody and they're like, oh, wow. That's incredible. (laughs) A couple of things here. One is when it comes to... um, our babies. It's so fascinating because even before my dad started coming through and I developed these gifts, I had a conversation with somebody in my life. Um, We went for a bicycle ride maybe like six months after I uh, had my first daughter, my only daughter. Um, And I just told this person how I really believed that my daughter was calling to me from the other side that she wanted to come through at this moment because I felt so much, I don't want to say anxiety, but urgency, like to get pregnant at a certain time. And this person looked at me and was like, you're batshit crazy that, um, you know, like, like, and she actually said that I believe at the time, like, you've got to be kidding me. Um, My mom sent me something though, recently that talks about how when the baby is in utero in your stomach, some of the mom's DNA goes to the baby. Some of the baby cells stay with the mom and that there's always this connection between the two because the baby always has part of your DNA, part of your cells and um, that you, and maybe I'm not describing this scientifically, right? But there's some post out there um, and that you always have part of that child with you and you can see it because there is this mommy intuition that happens between us. But as you were talking, spirit said, it's not just here you have this invisible connection with them on the other side and i believe a lot of times we know when they want to come through does that make sense so when you were at the dinner table looking and seeing that third seat that was an invisible connection to that child knowing that they wanted to be here and come through that like makes me cry yeah it it was literally a eight-year gap and i Every time that's TMI, but every time I'd go to the bathroom, I'm like, oh, they're not coming. And then I just finally just like, God, please let me stop thinking about this. And I did. And as soon as you let it go, I, I mean, it took two years later, but yeah, I love that. I didn't. Yeah. Have bumps. Beautiful souls. Do you regularly see repeating numbers? cardinals or other signs? If so, your angels and loved ones on the other side are trying to tell you something. These signs aren't just a cute hello from the universe. These messages go deeper. These messages are about you, your life, your relationships, your purpose, and how God needs to work through you in this lifetime. Friends, we all go through moments where we question, Am I doing this right? Am I on the right track? The thing is, our higher self knows the true answer. Our angels and loved ones in heaven do too. I've worked with the angels to channel the steps you can take to uncode your own personal messages and clearly hear answers from the other side. This workshop will give you your own unique way of communicating with your spirit team and leaning on them for support. After this workshop, you'll be able to integrate these steps into your life to clearly communicate with your angels daily. This workshop is on Saturday, March 26, 2022 at 1030 a.m. Central Time. It's called Signs and Angel Numbers, a divine guide to clearly understanding your angels. If you're an angel member, this workshop is included in your membership. Non-members can register for this workshop on my website, theangelmedium.com. And if you're listening to this in the future, you can also check it out on the website as well. You know, the other thing that I want to talk about here on the podcast today is my mom. She shares so much great stuff with me. I don't know if you're like this, but I'm seeing it now that my 
uh, daughters becoming a teenager where my mom would send me and she still does. She sends me like 20 things from Facebook that she sees every day. And I'm like, mom, I do not have enough time to go (laughs) through all of this. But now that my daughter has her own cell phone, I find myself doing the same thing to her, but being disappointed when she's like, mom, I don't have time to look at this stuff. Um, So my mom sent me one thing and, um, you know, we went on vacation in 2021 and she's like, did you see this account? You've got to look at this account. I'm like, okay, let's just look at it together. We're here together. Like, show me what you want to show me. It's the most fascinating account I have ever seen. And I think it's called what about bunny on, um, Facebook Bunny? bunny. Yeah. And like TikTok and Instagram. So it is this woman and I used to work at an Easter seals that helps children with special needs and I did marketing for them. So I got to know the whole organization. And what I know about uh, kids with special needs is that some need a special device to communicate, right? So they'll have this panel in front of them with different buttons and they can press a button to communicate either a word or a sentence. Okay. So this woman from this Instagram account does not have a special needs child. She has a very intelligent dog that she trains. And I don't think it's just that the dog is very intelligent. What she's proving is that dogs are self-aware. And this is fascinating to me because all of spirituality is about consciousness, right? And what she's proving is that dogs have consciousness. So, um, If you watch this account, this dog will go over to buttons that are on the floor that say certain things and she'll press certain buttons to create a sentence that she's speaking to the mom. So the one that really got my attention when my mom was chatting with me this one day and she was showing me this account is Bunny the dog goes over to these keypads, these buttons, and she presses stranger in my paw. And her her mom, like this woman who runs this account, is like, what do you mean you got a stranger in your paw? Come here. Let me see. So Bunny walks over by her. She hands her her paw and there was a splinter Aww. inside her pop, but she didn't know the words to say. That you know, crazy. isn't that crazy? And um, she says funny things like one of them, uh, she was outside looking at um, this bird because they live right by water. There's this bird. So she's looking at the bird outside and she goes over to the keypad and she goes, bird in my belly and her mom starts cracking up like she wants to eat the bird um in another one she goes over to the keypad and she says concerned cat she's concerned about the cat the cat had been missing for two months Um, i know so she's like totally self-aware i think in one of them too uh, bunny the dog goes over and she says tired um, like upstairs, like she wants to go upstairs and go to bed because she's tired. And this is Bunny, like Easter Bunny, B U N N Y. Yeah, yeah. And the dog's oh. name is Bunny. Okay. <laughs> I just want to look for it now. I have dogs, and I do. I think it's what you said. All consciousness. Yeah. So I don't know exactly what the sentence was that you said at the beginning that made me think of this, but Spirit, as you were speaking, was showing me this concept that. Just like Bunny the dog is consciously aware and maybe she can't put together all of the sentences because she doesn't have all of the words in her vocabulary yet to use. Spirit is bringing through different things like they're pressing the buttons for us right? Like feather, right? Or the sign that you saw. And it's, it's something that I'm molding and sculpting and maybe I'm not saying it completely right, right here as I'm speaking it for the first time, but spirit works with us and our consciousness and where we're at, just like this woman is working with bunny, the dog and what bunny can do and growing her and helping her to communicate more. There's something happening between spirit and us in humanity, in our 
time that we're in right now where they're trying to communicate more with us, but we're using, we're getting to know, getting to develop the language still between us. Does that make sense? So we're like bunny right now. We're like bunny. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they're developing the buttons for us to press yeah. we're to like page and it's pretty primitive right now yeah 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 I it you nailed it and I'm trying to say what I'm trying to think too is I wish I knew what they were saying but yeah it's so broken right now sometimes but yeah sometimes like after the feathers and they're like hey you're gonna have a baby yes but, so but yeah I amazing love that. amazing okay. Yeah. 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 Um, Lena, um, thank you so much for coming on the show mm -hmm. and being here with us today. I appreciate you so much. And, um, thank you for listening. If you have any angel stories, if you're listening out there, we would love to share them on the show. Please email them in and you can find my email in the show notes below. Hope you have a blessed day. You too. Thank you. You too. Bye. Bye. -bye. Beautiful souls, I just want us to take a moment and pray together. I want you to start by taking a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And I just want you to feel your crown chakra opening at the top of your head. I want you to feel God's loving oneness energy pouring like a waterfall of love into your entire body, surrounding your auric field, filling every molecule of space within you, surrounding you. And I want you to feel that you are so filled to the brim with oneness energy that it begins to radiate out like the rays of energy that radiate out from the sun. And friends, what I want to do this month is every time you come to the podcast, I want us just to pray together. The reason we pray, we have shown it scientifically, it does make a difference. When you pray, they have shown scientifically that it does something within another person's energy field. That person might not know that they are being prayed for, but something is happening energetically. So let's just come together today and pray. There's a lot happening in the world right now, and this is not about letting fear consume you. This is about taking your energy and directing it the way you want it to go. And so we're going to use our intention today. We're going to use the love that God has just poured into us today to radiate that love out, radiate our intent, prayers, ask God to surround angels with the people on earth who need it. And in particular today, we're going to ask that God surround with angels the people of Ukraine, to provide the people of Ukraine with angels that give them strength, that give them hope, that give them divine wisdom. Friends, this isn't a political thing whatsoever. This is a human thing. This is a collective consciousness thing. And what we're doing today is bringing more love into this world. So I want you to just take a moment to pray with me. Dear God, universe source, we know that there are babies that uh, should be in a NICU right now, special needs children who should be in an ICU hospital right now, who are not able to because of the conflict that is happening in Ukraine. And God, we ask you to protect those children, to heal those children, to surround those children with the angels that they need to give them everything, to become fully 110% healthy. 
God, universe, source, we pray for the mothers who are pregnant right now, who are fear-filled of how they're going to give birth, where they're going to give birth. We ask you to put their hearts, their minds at ease and create a safe place for them to bear children into this world. God, we pray for the displaced families, the children who are unsure of what's going on, who have fear in their hearts. We pray for those children to be surrounded by angels of comfort, angels of love who fill them up so that they know they're not alone and they feel a semblance of safety, of security. We also play, pray for those displaced families, those who are left behind, those who are still fighting. God, we ask you to give them courage. We ask you to give them strength. We ask you to fill them with every single thing that it is that they need to get through this time in their life. God, Universe Source, we ask you to provide everyone in Ukraine with angels to surround them. God, Universe Source, we also pray for those who have lost somebody in this conflict, that you help bring healing to the hearts of those who are left behind. And friends, I just want you to take a moment to add in your own prayer right here, right now. Friends, your angels ask you to hold a vision of future earth. And that is one filled with peace, with love, where there is all peace on earth. And if your egoic mind comes in, gets in the way and says, that's not possible, Julie, it is. We all have to hold that vision within our minds right now. So start by holding it within yours, by seeing all of earth as peace filled, as loving towards one another. Your angels say that now more than ever, it's so important for you to do your own work on yourself. Because when you're spiritually healthy individually, it leads to us being spiritually healthy as a collective. So doing the work on yourself individually lends itself to peace within all. When you have peace within you, we can have peace within the collective. So friends, please know that your angels do not want you to be fear-filled. They want you to, anytime your egoic mind brings in fear, use your intention. Use your ability to pray. There is no wrong way to pray. To pray for people you care about, even if you don't know them. Use this opportunity to look at your own life and the lessons that God, universe, source, your angels are trying to bring into you right now on how to bring more peace into your life. So that as you create a more peace-filled world for yourself, we can come into a more peace-filled collective as a whole. Friends, I want you to see one more time, peace on earth, peace within yourself, peace within your own life. I want you to send that energy that you are filled with, that oneness energy out to the world, out to the people of Ukraine, out to everyone on this planet who needs it. Remember, it's not coming from you. It's coming through you from God, universe, source. If you allow it to, that oneness energy is an unlimited source that will flow through you to everybody who needs it here on earth. 
friends. Thank you for coming together. Thank you for praying with me. Thank you for sending love out into the universe. Every single time your egoic mind tries to bring you back into a fear state, I just want you to stop for 30 seconds, call in your angels, and just pray. Just feel that oneness automatically radiating within your body and just send it out into the world to those who need it. Friends, I love you. Spirit loves you, your angels, your loved ones on the other side. They are looking out for you. They're with you right here, right now. Open up your heart to miracles, to blessings, to this vision of peace filling this world. Bye, friends.